Hello, all you beautiful people. It's your girl, Asia, the MUA, back with another edition of Adventures in Freelancing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new, I'm more than happy to have you. If you are returning, you already know what time it is. Hey, hey, Lister, how you doing? <laughs> if you guys are wondering who this gorgeous lady here is, this is my grandmother, and I'm about to do her makeup. So if you guys want to see how I slay this mature melanin, just keep watching. So the first thing I did to prep her skin was a little mist of Lightful Sea Softening Lotion Spray that is by MAC. I just wanted to add some hydration right off the bat because usually with mature skin, that's what the issue is. It lacks hydration. So the more hydration you add, the better everything will blend out. Um, I'm just lightly filling in her brows with Spike Brow Pencil. My granny does not wear makeup, so I wanted to take it super easy on her and just give her a beautiful, enhancing look. Now I'm going in with my J129 Angle Brow Brush from Juvia's Place. I wanted to clean her brow, but I didn't want like a super sharp, sharp line. I just wanted to give her a nice, clean brow look. Of course, I'm blending some Pro Longwear Concealer onto her eyelid space for eyeshadow primer. The reason that I love to use concealer for eyeshadow primer so much is because it gives you not only a nice, tacky, smooth, clean base for the eyeshadow, but it also corrects any discoloration that you might have on your eyelid. And I know a lot of mature African American women have a lot of discoloration in their eye area. So it kind of just goes hand in hand. It's just always worked for me and I don't see myself not doing this step anytime soon. I'm using a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of powder to set her lid, and then I'm going right in with Brown Spread by MAC. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time to use on women of color. Um, like I said, my granny does not wear a lot of makeup, so I'm just taking my 101 BH Cosmetics brush and just sweeping that color into her lid just to add some depth, transition, and and this is Amber Lights that I am popping onto her lid. Also one of my favorite MAC eyeshadows as well. This is pretty much all I did for her eyes. Two shadows, two brushes. Really easy, really simple. This lady wouldn't even let me put mascara on her, okay? So, had to keep it really simple. I'm just going back in and buffing those two colors together. And then I'm going to move on to skin. I think that's the most important part of this video because I know a lot of people get really intimidated when they have some mature skin sitting in front of them. I'm here to tell you, sis, don't worry. Don't get nervous. Don't trip. Hydrate and blend. Pretty much the same thing you have to do for anybody else. You just have to pay attention to special areas and some other key details when it comes to mature skin. So I am cleaning away some of that fallout and I think my son is about to come in here and ask for some pie. But I want to prep the under eye for the makeup as well. So I always go in with Fast Response Eye Cream. This is a holy grail product for me. I do not do makeup without applying Fast Response Eye Cream. It's just amazing. It helps concealer not crease up. It de-puffs the eye. It smooths out fine lines and wrinkles. Now I'm going in with another MAC favorite. This is a little time check lotion. This is probably like my favorite moisturizer to use on everybody, except for people with dry skin. But um, if you have oilier skin or like mature skin and you want something that's going to be smooth but also hydrate, time check lotion is the thing for you. I am going in with some Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I don't remember what color this was. I just tried to match her as best as I can because her face is different colors in different areas. And then her body was different colors also. So I just did the best I could with what I had. And I think it came out great. So before I started blending that foundation out, I hit her with a spritz of Fix Plus. Like I said, hydration is key when working with mature skin. 
and after that I'm just working on blending that foundation out as smoothly as I possibly can it was a pretty light layer of foundation my granny has beautiful skin so I really didn't need to do much So now I'm adding a little Pro Longwear Concealer. I think this was NC45. It looks like I'm adding a lot of concealer in. I think I was trying to overcompensate because I wasn't crazy about how the foundation oxidized down on me. But I blended that thing out though. And I'm just using the same brush that I blended the foundation out with. This is the Real Techniques Instapop Blush Brush. So I blended out the edges of that concealer with the Instapop blush brush. Now I'm using this brush from the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz brush set. It's a little smaller and it's really soft so I can get closer to her eye without causing discomfort and without making things more difficult for myself. So I am just setting everything down with a little powder. I think I was using the Maybelline Fit Me powder in dark probably, but I don't really remember. Sorry. If we are talking Holy Grail products, this is definitely one of my Holy Grails. This is the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. This is such a cult classic. This is such a cult favorite. It got a little bit hard to find though. I ordered mine from walmart.com in case you guys are wondering. I'm using a little bit of this ABH blush kit to continue to add that dimension to her skin. How cute is my granny with all this white hair? Oh my God. I love it so much. So right here I'm using a little bit of lip conditioner by MAC. This is another Holy Grail product. I use this every time I do makeup. Um, not only does it hydrate the lips, I feel like it just brings more out of the lip products that I use, the liner, the gloss, and the lipstick. It just helps those products glide on like butter. So I'm not like using any highlight for granny. I just use some cheeky bronze to add that illumination to her skin and just catch the light so beautifully. Cheeky bronze is another one of my favorites as well. So I told y'all this lady wouldn't even let me put mascara on her. But I am going to give her one last final spritz of Fix Plus just to seal everything in and make sure it lasts all day long. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, stay beautiful.